all right guys welcome welcome back to the channel um it was a very extensive five days um and uh, we completed our you know comparisons and all that stuff we completed all the stats we did data visualization but something happened today as of right now standing on 28th of march and um from i think my third video in the channel in that playlist that you will see it will be posted up there where i was telling in the beginning that someday in the future stats will come up and stat will matter because that's how the game is going to be and uh, we always talked about this in the channel that uh, try to keep your arsenal 50 50 so in the future your pegas are ready for it and uh, even though your percentage win rate percentage is 25 percent 26 percent which are decent horses to be honest but if you keep pegas that are higher in stats that will matter and that's exactly what happened and we are going to head over to our desktop live scene and we are going to show you something that happened an announcement by pegaxi and i don't know whether you've seen this announcement or not um here it is this is the announcement um and uh so they wrote today at 6.33 a.m. I was sleeping at that time. Um, I don't know what happened to my desktop live stream. It got changed. Oh, uh, well. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like this so that you guys can see. Yeah. It got changed. I don't know why. Um, I'm trying to do this live. Okay. Well, doesn't matter. Um, what you're going to see is uh, something that changed, which was that they had a very big update um, and just and they're uh, releasing state stats based racing. So stats based rate and racing. That's a very big uh, thing where all these numbers and factors will matter. And we're going to go in depth on this genetic breeding on March 30, a system that will allow you to race race based on your Pega stats and breeding with specific genetic traits such a good way of implementing that and uh, this is a very good burn mechanism very good way of you know incentivizing people those who are already in uh, we have been buying pegas with a lot of um, you know like stats and everything and uh, you know like and people have been saying that stats are coming um, as of um, as of yesterday, I mean, it was all win rate all over the time. And we actually minted a lot with those win rates. So nothing to lose, I mean, to be honest. I mean, but it's a good time for people, those who had 20 percenters, 25 percenters um, that were not having um, good win rate. So that's where things change uh, because um, these guys now will have very good win rate. Uh, why? Because if you have bought 20, 20 percenters and your stats were amazing, but you were not winning a lot of this, that thing is going to change within two days. So that's very important. Then just a few days later, we'll have a breeding event from April 3rd to April 10th. So seven day breeding event where cooldowns will be reduced or even removed. Stay tuned. So I was talking about this. Let's go back and um, watch this video. Uh, if you guys have not watched um in my channel i posted this that was two mistakes that they made in that first mistakes was um was that uh was this whole stats thing where they you know like implemented and all that stuff so uh yes this was this was what i was talking about so go ahead and watch this video I'm just going to skip all this. Go ahead and watch this video. It's called Pegaxi Update um, and Account Bands, where I was informing this. And I was talking about this crash and I was talking about cooldown in this whole thing. So, yeah, I was talking about cooldown. I was talking about crash and all that stuff. So, go ahead and watch that video. And in that video lies the proof that I was talking about that they need to roll back all those cooldown and all that stuff you cannot have a nine day cooldown and expect somebody to be motivated enough to keep on breeding and stuff because breed means you're burning this burning this actually helps a lot and um, and at that time when you know like this whole this thing was in a crazy phase and i will show you what i meant to say and at this vigorous chart 
I'm going to go seven days back. This whole chart, this whole phase of seven days was actually maintained calm um, and very, you know, like very methodically by people, those who are uh, guild members, people, those who were breeding their pegas. It was actually from this stage to this stage. This was a huge stage that we went through. Um, and it was thankfully for all those people, those who were breeding and they were not cashing out their vis. They were just, you know, uh, burning vis and everything. And this can be seen in uh, those few days. Hold on a second. If I can show you the analytics of this. Overview. Period last seven days. So out here in uh, Polo Pegasi, you will see that 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. These four, five, six days, um, actually, there was a very close mint and burn. So very close, you know, like not like crazy like this. Now, let's roll back again for another 15 days. And you will see that the amount of vis burned in the beginning was a lot. So people were just minting. Uh, sorry, vis mint was a lot, which means people were minting a lot at that time. So there were not, not a lot of people were breeding. But this stability was arrived was just because people started breeding again. So cooldown was a huge, huge demotivational factor for a lot of people, those who are breeding. And now breeding is going to be super profitable if you can breed at this time, at this rate that is right now. So remember this, this has not skyrocketed to like 0 0.1 cents yet. It is still sitting at 0 0.56, 6 ish, which is, which is okay. At least it came up a little bit. And this is very, very profitable at this particular time. So keep an eye on that. Make sure you have mixed arsenal. I have been saying that you should have mixed arsenal and you're going to benefit out of this. Let's go back to their, um, you know, like thing. And this is what I like that they're doing like a monthly update. So we know what's coming up so that like for a whole month, we never even know knew that, you know, like something is coming up. We just waited. We know that stats are coming up, but there was no confirmation when it is coming up. So that's good job by by them. And finally, on April 14th, we'll be re releasing Pega make burning mechanics, Pega level up system where those extra prega from breeding event might come in handy. And this is a big one. So don't just cash out all of your vis. <laughs> Do not mint it out or anything. Hold on to that. You can level up your pegas and stuff like that. And that burning mechanic will allow you to level up your pegas. So for example, you have a small arsenal of like six pegas or 10 pegas. You know, you can level up all of your 10 pegas. Um, if you have 50, well, you have the vis that you need and you can, you know, level up and stuff like that. So this is a very, very, very important update. And definitely, again, we are going to make videos in the channel about this. But uh, before you jump in, if you want to learn the material, um, if you want to learn all this material and everything, it is all there on my Google Sheets. You know, so, for example, last week we did. Uh, win rate versus stats, which was a five day tracker. And you will see in the stats, if I can change my live scene, um, you will see that in the stats, I have 30, 30, 30, 34, 33, 39, 35, 32. And I have some, which is 26, 29, 28, and 29. So I've got like one, two, three, four, five pegas out of 16, which are under 30 stats. I kept those because those were of higher win rate. So, I mean, it fell down, but if they were at the higher win rate when I was originally having those. So mixed arsenal allowed me to generate the same amount of revenue that I was generating in the beginning. And the other horses, which are higher stats, will now take over and we'll try to compensate for those pegas which are not in a very good state of their stats. So, want to have a win-win situation from the very beginning I was doing this. Um, and I was talking about this, that to have a win-win situation, you do have to make sure that your pegas are having a mixed arsenal which means that you're having higher stats and higher win rate at the same time they compensate for each other now stats obviously 
you will see that you go to marketplace now you will see that higher stat horses have um a very good uh, you know like uh, appeal like for example zan now it's a first breed male the how much is stats you collect you count like this six plus three is nine nine plus one is ten ten plus six is sixteen sixteen plus six is twenty two so twenty two stats it's not a good horse but can you benefit out of this ninety eight dollar invest ninety eight i think is too too high still for the current price right now it's a first breed so you go and see whether you have any horses that are zero breed in your arsenal or not have you picked up anything that is zero breed or not so these are some strategies that are coming up in the next video stay tuned it's already 11 minutes i was tracking time because uh, we cannot make these videos long so that you don't lose attention and stuff like that and uh, that will be all from the channel it's a huge huge update and this update will make for sure for sure it's going to make people believe in this game because a lot of people were not believing in the game before uh, they didn't know what to do it was a scene of panic that was there but those who stayed those who stayed calm there is a very bright future coming in this game so that will be all from channel tech do i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and if you liked my hard work over the course of like two weeks where first week it's all theory 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 second week we prove it with data we're going to do same stuff this time with all the updates and remember this we track everything and there is links down below where we have tracked before and after the last update roi is coming up so i'm going to put another chart for roi actually maybe after this video and uh, then we'll start tracking from 30th of march we are going to start tracking um all the other um you know updates that will be coming up henceforth like 30th then what is happening on april will give us like six seven days to compare data and once we have compared data you know you'll see the truth for yourself right you'll see the truth for yourself so that's it from the channel take do i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation give me a big big thumbs up um if you like this presentation you know it doesn't harm to subscribe i mean but it's upon you whether you want to subscribe or not i do not pressurize anybody i do data i will be making youtube videos i'll be talking about data specific so it's data oriented proof oriented i will not judge you the future that oh this is going to the moon i do not know this is going to the moon or not but there are good signs that this is going to go to stability what i want what i think everybody should see is not going to the moon but what everybody should see that make a stability at first make this minimum this which we talk in roi all the time make that minimum this to be like 0 0.1 cent or you know like 0 0.10 which is one cent basically once we get to that level where we minimize that this to 0 0.1 and it will never go down below that that's where something great has been achieved um all right so take care Goodbye.